Let's take a look at uh, YouTube, Facebook. Let's take a look at fa uh, Facebook. And it looks like we're almost live on Facebook. I'm hoping. Let's see. Hey, we're live on Facebook. And then let's go to YouTube. And we're uh, live on YouTube. Isn't that exciting? That's very exciting. And then now we got to go to Instagram here. Instagram's always interesting to get this going here. It's checking our connection. And we're live on Instagram. How exciting. How exciting. Thanks, uh, Instagram. I'm trying a new thing on Instagram where I'm trying to get my... Uh, I'm trying my odd my um my ear my earbuds to get a better microphone get get a better mic sound. So let's see if that works. Hey, look at this. We have uh, Jonathan NK joined. Hi, Jonathan. I got to wave to everybody who joins me on Instagram, and I'll take a look at Facebook. We're gonna have a. This is my summer art camp day here, guys. This is uh, but I'll start in just a second here. Just want to make sure we get everybody. Hey, Wonder Family. I'm glad you guys are here on my Zoom with my Zoom Fine Arts Camp. We'll start just one second here. Oh, I love it when everything's working. I love it. Click to expand. I'm trying to. Let's expand it. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, the Wonder Family, if you guys go to Facebook or go to YouTube, you can see my see my lesson. It's going to be awesome. All right. And let's go ahead and record this one for, for... This is funny. So many different things going on here, I tell you. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, everybody. This is my summer art camp. Uh, this is Zoom Virtual Live Summer Camp. This is our seventh week. Seven weeks we've been drawing. Seven weeks. And this is our second day. We have two more days coming. We uh, tomorrow Today we're going to draw more ocean creatures. You see, we did this earlier today. We did the fish and the squid and the mermaid and the shark. And we did uh, the scrolled fish and the treasure chest and the seahorse. And what we're going to do for you guys for this hour is we're going to draw the dolphin, the school of fish, a shark, and a, a starfish. It's going to be really cool. Tomorrow, we're drawing, uh, I'll show you pictures as the lesson continues, but tomorrow we're going to draw Halloween and summer. We're going to draw Dracula, Frankenstein, the Marshmallow Witch, and Ghosts and Goblins. It's going to be really cool. On Friday, <coughs> excuse me, on Friday, we're going to be drawing um, uh, uh, rainforest animals, the sloth and the and the cobra and the uh, the boa constructor and the uh, uh, parrot, the toucan and the monkeys in the trees and the gorilla. It's going to be really cool. So that's coming on Friday. I want to uh, say hi to everybody on Instagram. Look at all my Instagram friends. Hello. Oh, I have my, my friends from India on Instagram here today. Thank you for being with me. And uh, my friends from uh, got Russia on Instagram. Good to see you guys. So glad to see you. All right, let's get going here, guys. So I'm gonna. We got four drawings to draw, and let's get going here. Now I haven't been going live. I was gonna go live a lot on uh, social media this week, but I. Uh, <laughs> but life's got in the way. But just so I'll try to go on at least once a week live, so you guys can draw at least one lesson with me. Uh, this is our. This was our bring a friend day today. So this is a good day to have social media, huh? On our bring a friend day, put a dot in the middle. Let's get four squares. And our uh, for my Zoom virtual summer art camp, we had so many people bring friends into the earlier classes. They gave the Zoom link to other friends, and so I'm so glad you guys did that. Let's draw four squares, and we're gonna do four four ocean pictures. We're gonna draw the school of fish coming right at you, a school of parrotfish. So I'm gonna start here in square number one, in our first square. And I'm going to zoom in, zoom this in so you can see what I'm doing here. Square number one, and I'll zoom this one in here. So we get it, I'm going to get it as centered as I can for both of the cameras. I have all these different cameras going. <gasps> all right. So now, to this one, I think I'm going to tilt this one up just a little bit. Let's see if I can get this one moving up here. 
a uh, little too much. All right. All right, sounds good. So let's start with this one. Now, for this drawing, I'm going to draw a, a box. We're going to have, like, let's say this is a picture frame. So very lightly, I'm going to draw, this will be the picture frame of the fish. See that? I'll just do a little little frame there. And then, then I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a little fishy guy here. I'm going to draw one fish right in the middle. We're going to have a whole bunch of fishes. One fish will be swimming right there. And then I'm going to have one fish peeking out from down here. This is going to be a bigger fish coming towards you. Remember, there's 12 Renaissance words of drawing. And the 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 most important word, or one of the most, I th whenever I use a word, I say it's the most important. But they're all very, very important. There's the drawing compass. We'll be using that today. This is the uh, 99 pencil power levels of drawing. We'll be using that today. But this is the chart I'm really going to use a lot. They can see all the pencil marks. There's 12 Renaissance words of drawing. These words have been around for 500 years, all right? And if you use these words, you can draw anything in 3D. You can print this chart up for free from my Draw 3D website. But let's use some of those words right now. Let's use some of those words right now. Hey, we got Day J. Doug Corleen and Jake Pallet. Hello, two of my Facebook friends who've been drawing with me for, oh my goodness, several years now. So I'm going to draw these two fish coming here. These are going to be big giant fish, and this one gets a little smaller as it moves away, and then a little smaller one back here. So we're going to draw, it kind of looks like planets right now, but this will be a good exercise in, in learning to draw the word uh, size, near things are larger. So I'll start with this fish back here. Let's draw the fish's face, draw his eyes, and I'm going to draw this fish coming right at you. This fish is going to be looking here. He's hungry. He's coming right at you. So on the side of the fish, I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw the fish's the fish's fins here, and I think I'll make this fish waving a little bit. So I'll put this, here's this fin. I'll put that fin on the side. Now up here, look at this. This fin's going to be in. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. This is going to be really cool, this drawing, because we're going to put a, a dark background behind there. <coughs> I think you're really going to like it. All right. Now, how does that sound on Instagram, you guys? Hi, Instagram. How does that sound on Instagram? Because I changed the microphone to my to my earbuds, so I hope that's working. Hey, we got PBRG up here. Hi, PBRG. And we have Kramer watching on Instagram. Good to see you guys. And on Facebook and YouTube, all you guys on YouTube. I love this. I love you guys joining me to draw with my summer art camp kids. And, of course, all my Zoom kids, my Wonder family with all their friends. And we have... Uh, monkey boy, uh, Camden, right? Is that Camden? Is that right? Uh, you will type your name into Zoom text. You, you have the monkey image. I've been calling you monkey boy all morning. All right, so I'm going to draw this fish. Look at this fish's mouth is going to be wide open here. Hey, we have Shoba. Hi, Shoba Zing. Good to see you on Facebook. Tell me what country you're from, what city you're from. So I'm going to make this, this guy's fish's mouth open. I'm going to draw the fish's... Uh, um, uh, Caleb, Caleb, you're monkey boy. Monkey boy's Caleb. I, 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 I am so glad you're joining me. So I'm going to draw this fish. There's going to be a beak. Now, I used to see these parrotfish all the time when I was scuba diving with my brother and my friends in, off of Southern California, off the coast of Catalina Island. These fish would come right up. And I learned something to, to get the fish to come at you. We would carry frozen peas in our buoyancy vest, our BC, in the pockets. We'd carry frozen peas, and we would uh, take the peas and feed the fishies frozen peas. They'd come. If there wasn't very many fish, you put some frozen peas out floating in you, and I tell you, you would have you had have more fish pecking at your at your swim mask than you would know what to do with. So I'm gonna have this fish. This fish is gonna be looking right at you. Look, I'm gonna draw his eyes. This fish is waving. This fish is saying, say no to sushi. Eat lasagna. Eat pasta. This fish is saying, eat pasta. No sushi. <clears throat> I'm going to give this fish little reflection lines here. How many of you guys on Instagram are drawing with me? We're going to do four drawings today. This is a special hour-long live webcast on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. And today, we're drawing ocean. Now, yesterday... In my summer art camp, we did marshmallows. Do you want to see what we did yesterday? 
You got to take a look at what we did yesterday. It was so awesome. Uh, wait a minute there. Wait, this was... I guess... Did we do dinosaurs? Uh, today, today is... Today's Wednesday, right, guys? I thought we did marshmallows yesterday. I'm getting all, I'm getting myself all confused here. I'm getting myself all confused. I guess we did die. Oh, we did. We did marshmallows. Okay. All right. I'm getting myself all confused. This was uh, day one. This was Monday or Tuesday. We did the marshmallows. We did a marshmallow in a box. And we drew here. I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see these. We had so much fun this week. You guys got to take a look at these drawings. These are really cool. All right, so we did the, the Space Koala Bear, the Marshmallow Towers, the Marshmallow Family. It was so much fun. And our uh, our, our 9 o'clock class in the morning, we did this. This is our, our class for beginners for six, seven-year-olds. We did Mr. Marshmallow. We did the Marshmallows and the Flying Saucer. We did the Marshmallows Birthday Cake. And we did the Marshmallows Birthday Present. It was really cool. And then we did these different different marshmallow pictures. And then we did a little variation here. We did, uh, that was week seven. I want to show you one more here. And then we, just, then we did a little variation. We did some dinosaurs. We did you and a bear. And this guy, he wanted to do a lemur. So we do a lemur and then a telescope. So that's what we did yesterday. Now today, today so far, we've drawn the fishies and the little baby squid, and the mermaids, and the shark, and the singing fish, and the treasure chest, and the seahorse. So that's why we're doing one more one more full lesson of fish. Now this is week seven, so you guys get the idea. We've been drawing a lot for seven weeks. We've been drawing a lot of cool drawings. And I'm going to try, try to uh, include you, YouTube, and Facebook more often. But if you do want to sign up for any of my for any of my summer art camps, you just go to my website there at the bottom of the paper, markkissler.com. You can check it out. So let's put a little bit of shading. The light's going to be coming from the top, from the right side on this one. Take your pencil. Let's get a little bit of shading here. To just shade this. I'm going to zoom that in just a little bit. Let's zoom that in just a little bit. This is terrific. Now this guy, this I'm going to put his his eye here. Look at this guy's bigger. See. Look how big this guy is. Look at this guy's really huge. You see him, he's down here, and he's looking right at you. Take your eraser. I'm going to clean up the extra lines here. And now his, look at his mouth. This guy's going to have teeth. Look at, this guy's going to have fangs. <clears throat> look at that. Isn't that cool? So all you see is his eye, and then I'm going to put some wrinkles on his eye. I'll put some wrinkles. That's overlapping. We want to make this look larger, closer to you. So you only see one eye here. See, because what we're doing is we're 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 drawing we're drawing that in this frame here. See, see we're gonna put these all these fish inside this frame as like a photograph. Maybe you took a picture when you were scuba diving. All right. So there's there's our fish. I'm gonna shade under his fin here a little bit. Take your pencil, and I love I love shading. Shading gives your drawing that feel of depth. 3D is drawing the an illusion, creating this optical illusion of near and far. You want to make some objects come towards you, and some objects go away. So I'm going to darken. Now watch what happens if I darken inside this fish's mouth, and I draw this. Look at there's there's his there's that pectoral fin right there. See, the, so there's two fin coming out of you. We have a piranha and a parrot fish. Isn't this cool, you guys? Do you love it? Now, on this one, I, I'm going to do something funny on this one. On this fin, fish, I'm going to have this fish. He's climbing in. Look, I'm going to have this this fish. He's he's taking his, his fin, and this, this, this fish is actually climbing into the into the picture. There's this one eye, and you can barely you see his other eye. You just see barely see it over here. And here he is. You see his mouth open here. See this? You see I think on this one I'm gonna push I put teeth on this one too. Or this one doesn't have teeth? I don't know. Should we put teeth here? Yeah I'll put teeth. I kinda like those teeth here. 
All right, so this guy, he's looking this way. He's looking, you can barely see that one with a little reflection. You see that? Isn't that fun? See that? He's climbing. I'm going to zoom this one out here just a bit so you see what I'm doing here. Look at that. I have that fish climbing out. Isn't that hilarious? Ha, 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 ha. I'm entertaining myself. I love it. I love it. You can just variation. Add ideas. Add your imagination to your drawing. Use my lessons just as a diving board launching pad. If you want to draw a fish, just draw 99 fish, different ones climbing in off your paper. Uh, put them in fish tanks, fish bowls, ocean. Put them in a glass of water sitting on a table. Put them on a planet of an ocean planet. Use my lessons just as the springboard of your drawings, of your creativity. Hey, we got some more people on Instagram joining us here. Hi, I'm glad you're drawing with me. Uh, one through five, everybody on YouTube, on Facebook. Hey, uh, uh, Shoba is from New Jersey. Hello, Shoba. Jake is from California. J. Doug is from uh, Doug Corlon. J. Doug, where are you from? I forget what state you're from, buddy. All right. Good job, you guys. Now, um, here, let's put the shadow here. Look at, put the shadow under the fish. He's coming out here. Now, this will be just the start. I'm going to give you a 99 challenge today. I want you to draw 99 fish. 99. We just, we're just we just going to do these three together, and we'll draw some bit different variations. Actually, four. I'm going to put one fish further back here in the back. This guy, he's waving. You see his little fins here waving. This fish, look, he's waving with both fins. Look at that. He's waving. He's waving with both fins right here. He's waving. Uh, hey, hey, Mario. Hey, Mario. I'm live right now, son. I'll call you right back. Okay, bud? All right, bud. I'll call you back. That's what's so fun. Fun about live. I get my son calling. Ah, right. On. I'm using my phone on Instagram, so it's, uh, it's uh, the joy of drawing, drawing live at home. All right, here. Here, draw the eyes, draw the eyes, and then let's draw, let's draw that mouth back here. Look at that fin. There's that fin here. Let's draw the mouth. There it is. Look at that little fin back here. Isn't that cool? Now, you can take this and darken in the background and really make it cool. You take your pencil and you can just darken. I, I, I don't know if I'll have time to do that right now. I think I'll just leave it leave it white for right now, but uh, what I'll, I will do is I'll tell you what I will do. I'll take this and I'll put like a shadow. This this will make that make that frame pop out here a little bit. See that? So let's take our take our drawing. I'm, I'm going to put a little value. I was going to darken in all this, but it'll take it. That'll take me 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and I want to get on to another drawing. I want to draw a, a diving dolphin. So we have did you have fun on this, you guys? One through five. Five being great and one one being, no, you went too fast. Help, help. Give me a, a one through five in the chat box on Instagram. How are you doing on this drawing? Give me a one through five. Five being great and one being, no, panic, minion, ah, help. If I went too fast, give me a one through five. How are you guys keeping up with me? Now remember, don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Stress is on the bus. No stress, you guys. Wave goodbye to stress. Everybody wave goodbye to stress. Beep, 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 beep. No stress. Don't have to be perfect. Give yourself a license to make mistakes. Give yourself a license to flop, okay? Give yourself a license to make mistakes. It's important to fail to succeed. You got to mess up and mess up and mess up until you can draw a perfect, you know, fish or a perfect a uh, cake or a, a wonderful flying saucer. You got to be willing to make those mistakes. Turn your paper. Your paper's not uh, anchored down. It's not taped down. You can turn and twist it, and it gets lighter as it comes up. See dark down here, and it gets lighter as it comes up. See that? You can twist and turn your paper. I'm gonna put like a little uh, frame around here, a value. I'm using value to shade and draw. My, put my drawings. Isn't that cool? A little fishy guy here. Then I'll do it along the bottom. 
I get it really dark, and then I get lighter as it comes down. I just put like putting that value. Now, here we're using one of those 12 words of drawing. There's 12 words I teach, and the one of them here, we're using actually several. We're using size, right? The near fish is larger, and this is further, smaller, further away, further away. We're also using overlapping. The fin overlaps over the front right here. We're using shading. I shaded under the under the eyes. I shaded the body. So we're using three of these words. We're using shading, overlapping, and size. Now, if you have, I don't know if you have this. Hold up. Do you guys have a blending stump with you? Do you guys have a blending stump? If you do, take your blending stump and go ahead and blend it. See that? The blending stump will really, really make your your uh, the fishy pop out oh i gotta darken darken your lines put some i'm gonna put some wrinkles here a little value little wrinkles and i'm gonna use my stompy to give my my fishies a little bit of a value a little gray tone and it also helps with the shading i'll leave my eyes white and i'll leave the 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 uh, eyes white here Hi, I'm on live. I can't talk. Hey, hold, hold on a second. Yeah, go. You go ahead, bud. Awesome. You. Oh. Okay. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Yeah, go have your lunch. And there's my son. He called again, and I, ah, oh, it's like, I'm live, I can't talk, I want to teach, but I want to talk to you. But all right, so let's color this in here. All right, now, we got our, uh, we have our fishies. Now, let's go on to the next square, and square number two, and squ next square, square number two. Let's see here, in our next square, I've got to bend my cameras a bit. And now watch this. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw the, I'm going to draw the dolphin. You're going to draw the curve of that dolphin. He's going to be jumping out here. Curve that dolphin. And then, there you go. There's the dolphin's nose. There's the dolphin's nose. And then here's the dolphin's body. Block it in, shape it in. Shape, shape, shape. Now, dolphin porpoises uh, are shorter and stubbier, and dolphins have longer noses here. So I'm going to make mine a, do a dolphin. The porpoises have stockier bodies. Dolphins are trimmer. Now, always give yourself enough room. I always run out of room for his tail. So this is called a skewed curve. It's curved more at one end than the other. And on this tail, I'm going to draw his tail coming out here. This is going to be really cool. I'm going to draw his tail. Now, for his tail, now watch this. I'm going to draw this, his tail, but I'm going to put a, uh, make his tail kind of looping up. I'm going to draw this, this tail kind of looping up here. And I think you guys will like this. I'm going to draw the, this is not what it really looks like, but I'm going to, I kind of want to make a, a scrolled tail here. You see how he's, he's kind of, Jumping out of the water. See that tail? Isn't that fun? So we draw that guy. That's going to be the dolphin's tail. And if you don't like something, you just erase it. And you can fix it here. See this? I'm going to take this and I'm going to fix it. And I love that action line. So now I'm going to draw the pectoral fin. This near fin right here. This is overlapping. Draw this one right here. This fin's overlapping. And then down over here, let's darken this in. Let's darken that in. Darken, darken, darken. And the back fin is shorter and smaller. The back fin is shorter and smaller. You see that? This one's closer and that's further away. Isn't that wonderful? Do you love it? Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's draw that. See that? Draw that. Uh, there's the porpoises. Uh, there's the porpoises snout, and I'm going to put or the dolphin. I'm drawing a dolphin, not a porpoise. And then here's the eye. See that? Put the eye right there on that wrinkle of the snout. I love how that uh, that 
helps position it. And the other eye's hidden back here. And the dorsal fin for this guy is I'm going to make the dorsal fin coming up the back about right here. We'll block it. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just block it in. Just sketch it in. Just block it in here. Block it in here. I'm just now. I'm sitting here. I'm just waiting for 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 my son to call again. Ah, <laughs> he's he's very enthusiastic with his phone. He doesn't quite get the fact that when he calls me, it, the whole production stops. So, uh, bless him. All right, now there's the uh, there's the eye. There's the back of the fin. That's the dorsal fin. Now, that's 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 a little bit. That's more of a shark fin. I don't like that. I'm gonna see if I don't like it. That's all right. I'll just I'll just draw it again. I'm gonna make my round it off a little bit here. I like that a little bit better. I like that. Put the blowhole, that air. That's where they how they breathe. Now, when I I have a fun story about dolphins and porpoises. When I was in Australia, did a teaching tour in Australia many years ago. I actually got to teach at the Sea World in Australia, and I had you know ten thousand kids in the arena and. and and I was teaching them how to draw dolphins, and it was just so much fun. It was so much fun. And after the lesson, I actually got to jump in the water with the dolphins and got to hold on to the mama dolphin's tail, and she just took off with me, just took off like a bat out of the freezer, and I was holding on. And the trainer said, when you, when you grab on to mama's the dolphin's tail, her fin, uh, whatever you do, whatever you do, don't make too much noise. Don't don't startle her. Well, of course, as soon as I grabbed onto the tail, and the dolphin, mama dolphin, took off like a like a bat out of the freezer, I screamed, "Yahoo!" I just took off, and I and then of course that me screaming made all the kids in the audience, all ten thousand kids, started screaming, and so then the dolphin got even more startled and just just took off like. Like that fast, fast, fast. It was crazy. And I was screaming, ah, help. And we went around and around that lagoon. This was, that was one of my grand adventures in, in, uh, at, in Australia. That was so fun. So I'm going to draw my, I they got, I got to put on this really cool SeaWorld wetsuit. I got to, isn't that fun? So I was just here, my hair was flapping back in the wind. I was flapping around like a, like a little, little sack of beans back here. That was just like, like she was nothing. That was like I was just this little fly on her back. <clears throat> that was an extraordinary, extraordinary experience. My tour through Australia. And uh, now, here, shade the side. Now, shade the side opposite the sun. Shade the side of the fin. I'll draw her her eye. Leave a little light for the pupil. And out of the blowhole, do you guys having fun? Give me a one through five. You guys enjoying the dolphin? So we have we have our fish family. Then we're gonna have this dolphin jumping out here. I'm gonna put some put some action lines coming off the fin and put some water droplets. Look at this. Put water droplets coming off here. Look at this. Put some action lines off the fins. And there's, I'm going to darken in. See, I love the darkening the detail here. See that? I'm going to draw the, there's the, the dolphin swimming. Now watch this. Underneath the fin, I'm going to put shading on that. There's one of those 12 Renaissance words. You see that? The, the back fin is further away. It's smaller. But that shading, to push that underneath there, isn't that awesome? See that? A little bit darker in the nooks and crannies. I think I'll do the same thing right underneath that fin. You take your pencil and let's <clears throat> let's darken it in here. Just layer upon layer. I do one layer that's light and I get a little darker. A little you see that? Blend it. Do you love it? And blend down here darker and get light as you come up. Looking good, you guys. Looking good. Then shade inside here. Looking good. Dark, lighter, lighter, lighter. Look, I'm going to put some. Look at that water. Look at that coming out here. Woohoo! Isn't that fun? And draw that. Draw that. 
water water droplets. All right, what do you guys think so far? One through one through ten. Well, hello, more Instagram people drawing with me. Hello. Well, today we're drawing little fishies here. We draw a little fish, a little uh, school of fish. We have our dolphin jumping, taking off. And I hope it sounds better on Instagram. I'm using my cell phone, which you can tell because my son called a couple times to say hi and check in. Ah. All right, and uh, I'm using the microphone, so I'm, I'm hoping that that sounds a little bit better. Um, how does it sound on Facebook, you guys? Give me a, a, a one through five, five being great. How does the audio on Facebook sound? <coughs> Except when I'm coughing right into the microphone. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so there we go. We have our Australian dolphin jump, and let's use your blending stomp. This is one of the tools I use. I always have my brush and my stompy and my pencil and my eraser. Of course, I always recommend that you get yourself a sketchbook too. I hope you have all these, the eraser, pencil, any pencil, any eraser, the blending stump to help you blend, the brush to help you keep your drawing clean. Of course, the sketchbook. Get a sketchbook with metal uh, binders on the side or the top, a nice cardboard solid back, and of course, the all important, a copy of my You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book. This is my self-published book, my favorite book I've ever written. I love it. And you can see all, see on the front cover, you can see all these lessons we've done. Look at all those lessons here. Look at them. the back cover. There's 200 pages of drawing in here. 200 pages. It's two pounds of art. And if you purchase this for $20 on my website, it's self-published, so you have to go to my website to get it. My website's at the bottom of your screen for those of you who are on Zoom. Uh, there's my website. Uh, if you get buy the book for $20, I'll autograph it, okay? Now, I have lots of other books that are available. Uh, this one, I have over a million books in print. Can you believe that? I love saying that. I love that. Over a million books in print. Whoa, awesome. I love that. Pencil power. Someone type in. Someone type in. Pencil power. Pencil power. I love that you guys, a million of you, are drawing with my books out here. Now, this is my this is my uh, bestseller. This is on Amazon.com. And I have this book right here, The Drawing in 3D. And there's lots of books I've written over the years. There's one of my first books I wrote that's on. This is available on, I guess there's, I had some, a sticker on this one. that I saw that, a piece of tape there. This is Draw Squad. Look at me back when I was uh, 20 years old. Uh, and you can look at my picture. This is me at 20, and then me right here is Grandpa Mark. That's uh, 40 years ago. Here's the Imagination Station. I got lots of great books. Now, if you guys are just going to get one of my books, get You Can Draw in 30 Days. Go to my website and get that one. I want to autograph it to you. You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. This one right here, you can get this from my website too or from Amazon. It's number one in uh, drawing. Uh, on Amazon right now. I'm so excited. So if you decide to get a book, get that, or get uh, these two. Why don't you buy them both? Buy them both. Why not? Get them both. You'll, you need them both. All right. That's that's looking good. I love our little dolphins. I love our fish. Now now I want to draw a shark. I want to draw a cool shark that's coming up right here. Um, and maybe, maybe I'll put it over on this side. We have more room on this side. So I think I'll put the shark. I'll put the shark coming over here on this side. All right. So let's block this in. I have more room right here. So I'm going to sketch this sharky guy in here. Let's zoom this in so you can see it. Let's zoom that in. And we'll just draw right here. So I'll zoom this guy in too. i got two cameras I'm trying to uh, work out here. All right, so now I'm going to draw the shark's uh, no, the shark snout. This will be the shark snout. And I'll come back. The tail will swoop back. All right, so this will be the sharky. There's his tail. I'm just sketching it in. I'm shaping it in. Just lice, uh, no stress. Stress is on the bus. Uh, that's right. Stress, no stress. Go ahead. Wave goodbye to stress. Now, I'm going to draw this shark's eyes looking up at the dolphin. See, we're just shaping. It's going to be the shark coming at you here. And then I'm going to draw the mouth of the shark right here. I'm gonna draw the, I'll put teeth on it in a second. I'm going to draw this. The mouth is going to be open here as it comes out at you. Okay, so that'll be the mouth of the shark coming at you. And the pectoral fins, the side fins, the pectoral fins, I'm going to have one fin coming out over here. One pectoral fin. Just scribble. I'm just scribbling and shaping. 
I'm scribbling and shaping, scribble, 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 shape, 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 shape. And uh, over here, see this fin, pop this fin. Hey, Ethan, I'm sorry that I, uh, the, sorry that it took me so long to let you in here. How long have you been waiting? I'm sorry you're sitting there in the waiting room in Zoom class, and I was so busy drawing my, my shark, I didn't see you were waiting. Sorry about that, Ethan. I want to say hi to Jake and Shaboa in New Jersey and J. Doug in Portland, in Portland, Port Townsend, Port Townsend. And hi, guys, on YouTube. I'm so glad to see everybody drawing with me. Good to see you guys. Glad to have you here drawing with me today. Glad to have you. I'm not sure how many I'm going to be able to do live on Facebook and YouTube. This week, I'll try to do at least one a week with you guys. I was going to try to do it every day. It just gets complicated. If you are interested in taking my summer camp, you guys, summer classes, uh, I have two more days left. So I'll tell you what. I have two more days left of uh, some of my, my, uh, of this, uh, this week. If you want to sign up for this week, I'll tell you what. Or you pick any week. If you guys sign up for my Draw 3D membership, you sign up for uh, one year. I'll give you a 50% code. Here's the 50% off code for draw3d.com. I'm going to write it right here on the on the paper here. Let's see here if I can see it. Here's draw3d.com. And if you guys register for that, instead of $200, it's, it'll be $100. It'll be $99. Okay, it's 50% off. Here's the code. I'm going to give you the secret code. It's Kistler50. So if you sign up for a one-year membership, I want to. I'm going to give you a bonus week, a bonus week of uh, summer art camp. You can draw the rest of this week if you sign up. If you sign up today for Draw3D.com, use your Kistler 50, 50% 50 off. You can sign up. You have the rest of this week, and you can have pick it one other week during the uh, uh, one other week during the summer. So you guys, there you go. How's that? My weeks. You get a. a a bonus week, a bonus $99 summer art camp week, plus you get a year of membership. Now, this to draw 3D, let me tell you about the membership. Draw 3D has 500 drawing lessons on it, uh, that 500 recorded. Plus, every Monday during the school year, I go live on Zoom. I go live at 10, uh, not 10 o'clock, I change the time, 11 o'clock Central Time, noon Central Time, 4 o'clock Central Time, and 6.30 at night, the whole school year, Mighty Mondays. It's awesome. I hope you guys sign up. So there's a 50% off code for you for the Draw 3D, and I hope you do. And also, you get if you sign up for it, you get a free week of summer art camps, okay? So that's that's for, for all of you back there, out there in the, in the uh, Facebook world and Instagram world and YouTube world, if you uh, want to. Now, if you guys on Zoom, if you guys on Zoom... If you're not members yet and you want to sign up, sign up for the 50% off. I'll give you a bonus week. I'll give you another week this summer that you could draw. And thank you for signing up for my summer camp. All you guys, my the Wonder family, and uh, the uh, uh, Ethans, and then Camden, and all of you guys on my Zoom summer camp. I just love drawing with you guys. Now, here, let's put that dark... Look, look what I'm doing. I'm putting that the, the back of the shark's mouth. See, I'm darkening it in to really. And then now look at the eye. I'll put a little reflection. When you put a reflection in your in the in the eye, you're making the you're making the shark uh, defining the direction he's looking. It makes the eye look shiny, right? Reflecting light. See that? I put some wrinkles back here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now take your eraser, one of your drawing kit. Let's erase our extra lines. I think this guy looks really cool. I like how this back fin gets smaller. That size. Near things are larger. And that back fin is smaller. See this? Curve it around. Now watch this. I'm going to get this going up here. See that? Draw that back, big back. This is a thresher shark. See I put that tail flapping back there. See that tail? Isn't that cool? See if I could draw this guy here. You can see him up there. See that tail? Isn't that fun? Put that guy. Isn't that fun? There's the back of the tail. Put some wrinkles. That's the, these are contour lines. You see this? You can almost see this. See the shark? That's the, the curve of the body here. 
as it turns, it turns, it changes direction. Isn't that fun? Now, some of you have been drawing with me for many years. I started teaching uh, back in 19, goodness gracious, this was a long time ago. This was in 1985. I started this show called The Secret City. You might have seen that. I don't know. Some of you are old enough that this was in 40 years ago. And then in 1996, we started this show called The Imagination Station. And we actually won the Emmy for this show. That's that Emmy you see down in the corner over there. And this show is on Amazon Prime. You can see some of these episodes on Amazon Prime. It's just it's so such a great series. Now, some of the kids that I taught how to draw back in the 80s and 90s went on to become animators at DreamWorks and at Disney and at uh, Pixar. Uh, one of my students was the one who directed Kung Fu Panda. A lot of my students created the characters, the minions. My favorite character is the minions, of course. I love the minions. And my students are the ones who created the minions for Despicable Me. This is called the mashup when I mash together different characters. I taught a lot of the artists that Lucasfilm had to draw. And I taught a lot of the artists who created the movie Frozen and Toy Story and... Uh, uh, airplane and just all those great drawing, uh, all those great animated movies that you guys all love and enjoy. Uh, you guys, you kids out there, you're going to be the next generation of artists. You're going to be the next generation of animators. You're going to be creating the movies and the stories that we see, the comic books, the websites, the uh, the graphic novels. <clears throat> you're going to be seeing, you're going to be the the great storytellers, the great visual storytellers of the next generation. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. I even have you guys, you guys, your generation. You guys are geniuses, you Zoom kids, you YouTube kids, you Facebook guys. You guys are geniuses. You are Einstein icons. You guys are awesome. I'm going to give everybody a thumbs up for drawing so well. Oh, yeah. Thumbs up. I'm so proud of you guys. All right, now continuing with the with our our mantra, stress is on the bus. Everybody wave goodbye to stress. No stress. Let's keep pushing on. It's okay to make mistakes. Remember, you have a license to make mistakes. If you have to fail to succeed, it's okay to make mistakes, you guys. It's all right. All right. In fact, you can't uh, you you can't uh, succeed without making mistakes. Let's go to your. Let's draw. We have one more square here. I want to draw. A starfish. I'm going to put a big rock right here. I'm going to put a starfish on this rock. I think it's going to look really cool. I'm going to move my rock over a little bit. So I'm going to have this uh, this rock under the sea, kind of kind of a funny funky shaped rock. Now I'm not going to go straight across. I'm going to curve the bottom. That's called contour. See contour. And I want to have this starfish the, uh, on the side of the rock. So take the star. Watch this. I'm going to draw this, uh, the starfish one leg up here. There's one one leg of the starfish. It's going to have a five-sided star. Sometimes starfish has six legs. Sometimes they have eight legs. So now I'm going to think of four shortening. Most of the starfish is going to be inside this four shortened shape, that squish circle, see? So I'm going to have this this arm coming out here. See that? There's that arm. And then this leg comes down here. See, it's going to be all foreshortened, following our guidelines. Remember the drawing direction compass I was talking about last lesson? This is the drawing compass, and these are the four drawing directions that artists use most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time they use northwest, southwest, southeast, and northeast. <clears throat> those, are, those are the most commonly used directions. Now watch this. I'm going to take my, uh, my pencil, and you, remember in the reference line, remember that reference line. I'm going to draw this leg a little smaller. See that? Keeping it for short. This is overlapping. This one. And then now back here, I'm going to have this. This He's going to be waving. He's like waving that arm. And I'm going to make this leg a little bit. You know what? I don't like this leg. I'm going to erase it. And I'm going to make it a, go up a little higher. See that? I want to angle it a little higher. I think that looks better. See, if you make a mistake, you don't like it, you have an eraser. Just erase and carry on, draw it on, right? Just just uh, erase it and draw draw the other one you want. Any one. We could put another starfish over here. I'm going to put another one. I'm going to put one right coming around this side here. 
Look at this. I'm going to have this, this, this starfish leg. And then hit this guy. He's waving over here. He's like, hello. Look at that. I have a couple starfish. Isn't that fun? So now I'm going to draw his eyes. This, there's his near eye. The back eye's smaller. What do you guys think of this one? Get, uh, on the uh, in the Zoom, give me a one through five. Give me a one through five on Facebook. How you guys like this starfish using alignment, using the drawing direction compass? Do you love it? All right. Here, draw these eyes up here. I hope you guys are enjoying our little sneak peek to our summer art camp. This is a uh, week seven, seven weeks of drawing in 3D. You kids have done such an amazing job. This is our third hour today. This is our second day. We have two more days. And remember, if you want to, to draw with us, we're going to be drawing. Uh, tomorrow's going to be Halloween uh, in summer. So this is tomorrow. I'll show you a little sneak peek of tomorrow's lesson. Tomorrow we're drawing these Halloween pictures in summer. Look at this. We're going to draw the, the witch uh, flying the jack-o'-lantern. We're going to be drawing ghosts and goblins. And we're going to be drawing, look at that. Isn't that, doesn't that look cool? The, the Dracula and the Frankenstein. That's tomorrow. <coughs> and I won't be on YouTube uh, tomorrow or Facebook but or Instagram. But you can uh, sign up for my summer art camp. Go to my website, markinson.com. Better yet, if you register for Draw 3D membership, it's 500 lessons plus Monday Mondays live on Mondays all school year long. There's a 50% off code. Instead of two hundred dollars, it's ninety nine dollars for a family for the whole year. Um, I'll give you a f the rest of this week free for my uh, the summer art camp. Okay, and you know what? I'll go ahead. And I'll I'll throw in another week. You pick up pick any week you want, full week, and I'll give you a free week. How's that? Basically, you sign up for another week of summer art camp ninety nine. You get a membership. How's that? All right, good job, you guys. The good job. Let's draw the rest of this. Draw this here. Let's draw the the starfish. I'm gonna darken it in. And the shading is what's really gonna make this this starfish look like it's really there at the bottom of the sea, waving. There's the edge of the rock. And I'm gonna draw this starfish's eyes. He's looking over here. He's like, "Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just hanging out. Hey, me too. I'm just hanging out too. So we'll draw all these little guys." I kind of like I kind of like this arm. It's kind of there's his there's his belly, and there's this arm here. <coughs> Looking good. Well, hello, Karen Wall. Thank you for for logging in. Great to see you guys. All right, there's our starfish, and then now watch this. The shading is what really sets this apart. I'm gonna put a little shadow. I'm going to put the shadow along the bottom here, along the sand of our starfish. Let's put that shadow. That's what really, really anchors it down. I'll put a shadow here. Put a shadow, and I'm going to put the shadow here. Isn't that fun? I want to shade here. Shade, 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 and let's wave this guy. Let's put the shadow here, and then shade right here, and let's shade down here. You guys are doing great. I love it. I love this one. Oh, look, I get all quiet when I'm concentrating. Wow, let's use our stompy to blend this to give the uh, rock, just kind of shade the... To give the starfish a value. You see that? And blend the shading. I need, you know what? I'm going to blend the shark too. I haven't blended. I'm going to take my stompy and I want to, I want to blend. Just add this. You push, this is just a rolled up piece of paper. It's a wonderful tool. It's a wonderful tool for us pencil artists. We're going to add some, just some nice smooth value, a little tone to your drawing, to the tail. And there you go. There's your drawing. I'm so proud of you guys. I hope you guys had time to draw with me today. If you're watching with me on YouTube or on Facebook, I thank you for drawing with me. I'm going to put my 
Uh, let's put the title here. Here's, this is me, Mark Kistler. Woohoo! Yeah, hoo! Mark Kistler's. And this is my live Zoom summer art camp. Great to have you guys here for the days of drawing summer. The drawing days of summer, summer art camp. And this is our week. This is week seven of our summer camp. I have many more weeks to go. And if you want to sign up for my summer camps, go to markkessler.com. This is day two. We have two more days for this uh, session this week. And this is hour three. This is our third hour. Put the date on your drawing. Make sure you put the date. July 7th, 2021. Hey, Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Good to see you on Facebook. Thank you guys on Instagram for drawing with me. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. All right, here's the three three ways to keep drawing with me and keep supporting my mission to teach the world to draw. Attitude of gratitude. I'm so grateful for you guys' support. Go to my uh, uh, website, sign up for Summer Art Camp. Go to my website, sign up for the Draw 3D. Dot com. Use the 50% off code and you get a free week of summer camps with it. It's Kistler 50. You choose the one-year option for Draw 3D. There's 500 lessons. You get Mondays live. Mondays all live. And it's uh, it's called My uh, Mighty Mondays. And as a membership for the Draw 3D, you get Mondays live. While you're at my website, go ahead and, and order my books. I have all my books available. This is the one that I... I'm encouraging you to get for sure the 30 seconds book. This is wonderful. 200 pages, two pounds. It's just it's just a fantastic book. Of course, I, I spent two years writing it. That's what, what I'm going to say. This book, you can get this at my website too, and I'll autograph it, or you can get this one at Amazon.com. All right? All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much on Zoom for drawing with me. Thank you on Instagram for drawing with me. Thank you on Facebook and on YouTube. You guys are wonderful. You're amazing. You're geniuses. Stay creative. And I will talk to you guys on the next episode. Bye, everybody. Of course, then I have to take forever to, to turn everything off. So I'll still be live here. Ha! Goodbye. Goodbye, Zoom. Bye, everybody.